Now to Hobart, which is an area that's seen a lot of growth lately. With more people, that means some of the schools are running out of space. Now that school is out for the summer, the Pulaski School District is getting to work on some renovations. Your Hobart neighborhood reporter Katie Shiro shows us what they're doing at Hillcrest Elementary School. School is out and renovations are in for the Pulaski Community School District. This building is Hillcrest Elementary and the renovation process on it starts this summer. The result? This building will be twice its size. This school is just one of the buildings in the district that will be seeing some changes. Hillcrest Elementary Principal Chris Wells says the renovations are long overdue because the school is growing. When she started 11 years ago, she says there were 250 students and now there's 400. Last summer we had to bring portable classrooms um, into our, our district, specifically here at Hillcrest. We needed additional classroom space, um, so we have um, four classrooms that are out here. Well says class sizes are currently between 20 to 24 students and they've had to use some spaces like closets and non-classrooms to accommodate. Now they'll be getting a new cafeteria, a gym, an art space, collaboration spaces, and more rooms for students to learn. District Superintendent Allison Space says teacher and staff input was also a big factor in renovation decisions. It was important that we had all those voices that were in the beginning of this process, even during the referendum, we were asking and getting feedback from our teachers. What really is working well for them now and what do they need to make things take it to the next level? Space says another elementary school and the high school will also be getting renovated. This comes after a November 2022 referendum was passed. The cost for all the building renovations is going to be $69.8 million. Well says the last time they did renovations at Hillcrest was 30 years ago. So she's looking forward to a new chapter. Having a space for all students um, and staff to be able to work with kids, allowing our students those opportunities to have collaboration areas to be able to kind of have that new technology. Most of the renovations will be finished summer of 2024. A complete timeline can be found on NBC26.com. In Hobart, Katie Shiro, NBC26.